guys, so today I want to talk about Kenya Moore and Kim Zolciak and the rumors that are going around behind the scenes at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now the Real Housewives of Atlanta is really going through a whole Real Housewife New Jersey situation, which means what's going on behind the scenes is probably a hundred times more fascinating than what's going on on camera. So if you heard the news, there's a dilemma going on. The producers are in a quandary. They don't know whether they're fire Kenya Moore or Kim Zolciak. So let's go into details about this dilemma. Let's start with Kenya Moore. Now, if you see the last episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know that Kenya got into a huge argument with the producers. I mean, she was just going off. She said she was done doing the show. She didn't have to do it anymore. She wanted them to take her mic off. She ended up walking out. It was very, very intense, to say the least. I mean, she was just so upset. And according to the rumors, that was the last straw with the producers. They were already upset because her husband, Mark Daly, was refusing to film. And they were having a hard time getting anything out of her. He wouldn't even do a conference call, I'm told. They even offer him money. No go. So her job was already on the line. When she gave that little outburst, supposedly, that was the final straw. Okay, so then they supposedly brought in her replacement the next episode, which was Eva Marcel. And Eva did a fabulous job. And as far as the rumors were concerned, were concerned, Kenya was no longer going to be offered a peach at the end of her contract. She was even deducted $100,000 for not showing up one episode. I guess they go on vacation and she refuses to go. Okay, that was the dilemma that they were in. And, you know, I, in Kenya's defense, I mean, in Bravo's defense, I, I go both ways on this. I can't say I blame them. You know, you have to film. If you're going to be on a reality show that makes tons of money to talk about your life, but you don't show your life. I get that part. But then I'm kind of wishy-washy. I do have learned through the cameras of Kenya's terrible childhood, to say the least. I mean, I can't say it anymore. You know, I wouldn't say she was abused. I would say she was neglected. Kenya has been neglected since childhood by her mother who refuses to have anything to do with her and it's left a huge impact on Kenya. So I know how important family, family is to Kenya because she cherishes it because she really doesn't have one and that's kind of been like what she's been missing all these years was the family. So if her new family, which is her husband, says that he doesn't want to film, what can she do about it? I mean, it's a no-win situation. So, but as far as, you know, Bravo's concerned, you know, she's got a film. We don't pay you for anything. Okay, so now let's get to Kim Zolciak. So they all brought Kim Zolciak back. You know, she's one of the OGs of the show and to spruce up the show. And Bravo loves to bring back old people, not old, like older cast members that you're already familiar with so you don't have to get reacquainted. So on paper they thought Kim was the perfect person to bring back to the show. She'll bring enough drama. She knows you know how to do this reality TV thing. Well what they weren't expecting was that the audience not feeling her so much. She is not liked by the audience, which is a huge surprise to Bravo. You know, she st started all that trouble with Candy, saying that Candy made sexual advances to her, which was a bold-faced lie, you know, and the audience wasn't feeling that. And then she said Nene's million-dollar mansion was dirty and full of roaches. They didn't feel that, and no one liked Kim, the audience. Well, I mean, this is a problem because if the audience doesn't like you, the ratings go down, but it gets worse. Not only does the audience not like Kim, the cast does not like Kim. I mean, of course you have Nene and Candy who don't like her because she just planted false stories on them and they're furious with her. And then, you know, she's friends with, um, and then Cynthia does whatever Kenya does, you know, and those two don't like her. And But she had a, a posse. She had... Um, Portia and Sheree, she, those two were supposedly friends with her, but behind the scenes they're saying Portia's willing to film with anyone is not taking a side. You know, she's trying to get back in Candy's good graces and whatnot, and Nene's, so she doesn't want to put her career on the line for Kim Zolciak. I get that. Well, that leaves Sheree. Sheree is willing to film with her, but 
she really doesn't have any power to say any, who comes and who goes. So, you know, it looks like the cast is refusing to film with Kim. Well, you don't have a storyline if no one's going to film with you. This is a huge dilemma for the producers because at this point, they don't know who stays and go who goes. While they were prepared to get rid of Kenya, bye Kenya. Public kind of feels sympathy for Kenya because at the end of the day, it's really not her fault if her husband refuses to film. And then the public actually really hates Kim Zolciak. I think she just came on too strong this season. And you know, if you can't get people to watch the show, you know, you don't want to run Real Housewives of Atlanta down into the ground and then she goes back to her own show. It might be just good, you know, to cut her loose now. This is the dilemma that's going on. And to tell you the truth, I could understand both sides of the coin. You know, Kenya has to film. It's not her fault that her husband refuses to film. And Kim Zolciak has just been a big pain in everyone's side. Uh, side you know i really don't like the storyline she's got going here it borderlines just plain disrespectful so i don't know what bravo's going to do let me know in the comment section whose side are you on who stays and who goes also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these in the meantime i'm going to keep you guys up to date on what's going on all behind the scenes talk to you next time bye